Welcome to Creative Bath Lab. My name is Dora and thank you for joining me today. Today I'm showing you how to make rock hard bath bombs. Seriously, the thumbnail is not just for show. I've been making bath bombs for three years. In the first year, I made them every day, usually four a day, just to experiment with different recipes. All that work, research, and experimentation has culminated in the recipe I'm about to give you. Also, I've compiled all my bath bomb making knowledge into one playlist titled Bath Bomb Making 101. It includes everything that you need to know about bath bombs, 10 common issues, ingredients and reactions explained, and other helpful tutorials. All videos mentioned will be linked in the top right icon at the end of the video or in the description. Please refer to the description for the recipe, substitutions, and lots of other helpful information. The SLSA is going to slow reactions in the water so the bomb doesn't dissolve as quickly. The water is the star ingredient. It's what makes the bath bombs rock hard. Always add mica to wet to reduce airborne particles. Add wet ingredients slowly while whisking. I created color powder specifically to use with bath bombs. It doesn't cause reactions. You can see the color as it's being added, easily alter the shade, and create custom colors. This tutorial is linked. Now thoroughly mix and knead the batch with your hands. These are rainbow rocks. They're not necessary, but they add fun pops of color in the water as demonstrated at the end. This tutorial is linked. I also added eco-friendly glitter for decoration. All items used in this video will be linked in the description. I'm using a two and a half inch mold. I coated it with eco glitter. I feel like I have a disorder or an affliction. No matter how hard I try, I cannot make a plain bath bomb. It's literally impossible. I always have to add something just something. Okay, so you're going to fill the mold all the way, then lightly pack it and sprinkle loose mix on top. Smush the two sides together tightly. And then tap on both sides to release the bomb. You can put it in a holder mold to support the bath bomb's round shape. If using a holder mold, I usually use a smaller one in case my bath bomb expands, but I'll share a little secret with you. I normally don't use holder molds at all. 
And with this recipe, you won't need to either. Dry them for 24 hours. This recipe makes three two and a half inch bath bombs exactly. Quick tip, if your bath bomb releases without the aid of tapping, it's almost certainly not packed enough with enough mix. All of this mix will fit in this bath bomb, with the exception of a few crumbs. I go to lift, it doesn't, perfect. Now I tap to release it. If you're having any issues at all, watch this very helpful tutorial, it will be linked. This bath bomb was made 24 hours ago. Someone made a comment about watching the bombs in real time, and I certainly understand that, but it's extremely boring and kind of painful to watch. But I'll at least state the speed at which they're running to give you a better idea. This recipe makes bath bombs that are unbreakable, especially once they're in the water. This nugget that I'm holding now is harder than a rock. I tried squeezing it and it would not budge. The bath bomb was very vigorous. I actually prefer slower bath bombs, especially if it's made from a single batch. To fix that, simply increase the SLSA. The more you add, the slower it'll dissolve. You can see little pops of color from the rainbow rocks. Normally I add much larger rocks, but this time I added mini, like little bitty mini ones. The water was a bright popping bubblegum pink. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And it also smelled amazing. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm proud to announce that I've formulated the perfect recipe for heavily scented bath bombs. It took some experimenting, but I got it. I'll be posting that tutorial soon.